What is good, everybody? Today we are doing a two-in-one WWE Elite Series 111 review on Cody Rhodes and Trish Stratus. Now, I've been looking forward to this Cody Rhodes for a very long time. I, I'm hyped to get this Cody Rhodes. You guys know I love Cody Rhodes. Love this attire. Hype for this Cody Rhodes. And this Trish Stratus I had high hopes for, but the more I look at it, the more I'm worried, man. We're going to dive into it. Uh, she may be the new Becky Lynch, and I'll explain why that is. But if you want to grab these figures, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% over there, man. I'd greatly appreciate it. But today we're diving into Elite Series. Series 111. It feels like yesterday it was Elite 100. We're all the way up to 11 now. It's pretty crazy. But today we have the American Nightmare. We have Trish Stratus. Two top talents in their respective divisions and we're going to get into it of course. We did see this figure back at WrestleMania 40 on display. It does come with an interchangeable head. Don't know how I feel about this one. We're going to dive into it but it's your standard Elite packaging. Still not a big fan of it but you got the you got the solid Undisputed Champion there. Oh my god in heaven. Look at that right there. The flapping bottom, What's that? Look at that right there on the box, man. On the box. Look at that gap between the tattoo and the ear. How many damn times have I told you about it? How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? And now we have it on the actual packaging of the figure. And I'm going to show you why Mattel messes this up, okay? If you look at any other Cody Rhodes figure, I'm going to bring in an elite Cody Rhodes right here. Why do they bring the tattoo so close to the damn ear, man? That's not how close it is. There is a gap there. There is a gap. Take that tattoo off that head sculpt. Anyways, that's one of the gripes I have with the figure. Jesus. But then we have Trish, and talking about bad head sculpts and weirdness, I don't know. I feel like at certain glimpses the figure looks okay in the face, and then other instances, I'm like, what the hell is going on with this Trish Stratus? But we're gonna dive into it. You got the lady there. You got the lady there. She's looking ladylike. And then we do have Trish on the back there, and then we have the rest of the figures in the wave. Damn good wave. Probably one of the better waves we've seen from Elite 100 to this point, but nonetheless, man, we're gonna crack both of these out of the packaging, find out what the hell they're all about, see if they're any good. With that being said, let's crack them out of the packaging and find out what WWE Elite 111 Cody Rhodes and Trish Stratus are all about. So here's Cody Rhodes and Trish Stratus out of our packaging, man. Liking what I'm seeing so far, I've had the opportunity to pose them around, see what they're all about, get into some of the details, but of course, we won't know how they fare until we get all the way through the review, but what we're going to do is take a closer look at Cody Rhodes' accessories and Cody Rhodes, and we'll take a closer look at Trish Stratus' accessories and Trish Stratus herself, but with that being said, let's get into the accessories, and then we will unfold the rest of this review. So for Cody Rhodes' accessories, we get three pairs of interchangeable hands and two interchangeable head sculpts. Now for your Cody Rhodes head sculpt on Elite One. 11. This is not my favorite. Not my favorite. It kind of looks like he's leaning forward and kind of preparing for war kind of, but it makes his lips look so thin. And you could say he's kind of piercing his lips together or something like that, which is what I think it's trying to do, but there's no paint or anything to indicate lips. And I think it's supposed to be that they're tucked in, but if they're not, maybe you could, you might be able to repaint the lips and make it look better if you kind of painted them in there. And it may look like he's kind of determined looking forward there, but I'm not a big fan of this head sculpt as it stands. It's just not my favorite. It does look better than it did on display at Mania, but I still am not a big fan. Not a big fan of it. I still think that the Defining Moments head sculpt is the best one. I don't know why. You see what I'm saying? If you repainted it like that, but there won't be a sculpt there, so I don't know how, you know, you could really save it, but this is the best head sculpt they've made so far since his return, and I wish they'd use it. The hair shape's perfect. The likeness is perfect. Use this head sculpt. Please. In terms of the interchangeable screaming head sculpt, we've seen this on his two Ultimate Edition figures so far, and it's virtually the exact same head sculpt, I think. I don't think they're too much different. They may be repainted slightly different, but you're still getting the tattoo way too close to the ear, which we've touched on. The tattoo is not this close to the ear. I've said it a trillion times. I have a little blonde hair down there, but it's not this close to the ear. There is a gap, so just put it on the neck and leave it off and just indent right here and create a jawline, and it will work, man. They've seen it on Jazzwares. I've talked about it multiple times. It needs to be done. It needs to be done, but they refuse to do it. Outside of that, we do get mic holding hands. The right hand is always taped, and it has a white peg, so it simulates that hand tape, which is always great for weapon holding and mic holding hands, as Cody Rhodes likes to do. And then he also comes with these throne-sitting, whoa, entrance-style hands here. I call them throne-sitting because it looks like somebody's sitting on a throne, you know? If they were on either side of the throne, they'd be putting their hands on the sides there. But it is, the right hand is taped, and this honestly works better for me for a, I, I think the Carry Von Eric mold is what they 
it should use for John Cena you can't see me hands, but this is closer to a you can't see me hand than the flat hand in my opinion. I know that didn't have anything to do with it, I just wanted to mention it. And last but not least, he does come with a pair of fists to beat the hell out of anybody who comes for his kingdom. Alright man, starting out with Cody Rhodes at the head sculpt, we have seen this head sculpt in the accessories portion. I don't know why I said accessories so weird, but so we don't need to spend a ton, a ton of time on it. We don't really care for it. I understand it. It's just not the best in my personal opinion. Now going down into the torso, I like the formula they use for Cody. I just, God, look at that neck tattoo, man. Just terrible. One thing I do want to mention is if you push the head sculpt all the way on, I feel like he gives him kind of a stumpy neck. So I've been pulling mine up a little bit and it looks better. I don't know. I just think that he looks like he has no neck right there. But anyways, going down, it's standard Cody Rhodes formula here with the arms and everything. The gear is very sweet. This is from SummerSlam 2023. <laughs> on the back of the packaging, it's so damn vague that it's ridiculous. It says, the saga ended at SummerSlam 2023 when the American Nightmare conquered the Conqueror. What the hell is even that? But the gear looks sweet. I love the white and the stars, the eagles, the paneling, the red, white, and gold. The red, white, blue, and gold looks amazing. I love it. The only thing I don't like is pinless joints, man. The stars look good, though, but the pinless joints I don't like, man. It makes it so damn stiff down here. And I've been posing them around, and it still hasn't gotten any better. I don't know what the hell you're gonna have to do there. Definitely gonna have to break that in, but the gear is very nice. I like the paneling and everything. It just looks good. It looks good for a Cody figure. This is definitely my favorite gear outside of the defining moments that we've gotten, I think. And I love all his gears that we've gotten so far from Mattel, but this is very nice. I do like it on top of the Ultimate Edition, but we have this standard boots here with the black outsoles with the American Nightmare logos on there, which look really damn good. Now again, you see how stumpy his neck looks, but then look, if I pick it up just a little there, if you just kind of push it on there, but not all the way, I think that looks much better. Am I tripping? I think so, but nonetheless, it's your standard Cody Rhodes, you know, figure articulation. One thing I don't like, though, is he has kind of that Elite One Rey Mysterio thing going on, man, and he's on ball joints. It's not like he's not on ball joints. He can do the splits, but when you try to, God in heaven, you want to be careful with that, man. I feel like that could snap at any moment. I'm pretty sure he is on ball joints, so it's not like he's not on ball joints, but the kick forward is kind of non-existent. It goes right back into spot. God, that's annoying. The the right side, not as bad. He can kick forward a little bit there, but that is pretty disappointing compared to, you know, let's say, let's compare it to a, you know, a non-pinless. So this has pins in it. Look at this leg. Look at that right there. Look, that's what happens when you get the, keep the pins in there. He's all buttery smooth, and then you take the pins out, and damn, man. Thigh swivels there, but that damn knee bend right there, and then the boot swivel, you have your standard articulate. Just, God, man, I don't like pinless legs, man. They just aren't good. I don't care that you see them. Figure look, feels like it's going to snap in half like a freaking 2017 basic. Up until, you know, they switched it. But let's take a look at some Cody Rhodes figure comparisons. So here's every Elite Cody Rhodes that we've seen so far from Mattel since he returned to WWE. You have the Elite 101, you have the top picks in red, the Elite 111, the top picks in the cool blue grayish silver weird color, and the defining moments over here. And we do have some other Cody's we're going to compare, but this is just your standard Elite in tights. We do have our suited version, which we'll take a look at, but this is every Elite Cody Rhodes figure that we have gotten so far in tights. And I like all of them in their own ways. They're all damn good. I just... <laughs> All these are buttery smooth because they don't have pinless legs. This one, you add pinless legs in there, F's it all up, but this is certainly probably my favorite gear. I really like the defining moments, and I like all these in their own ways. They're just, he has such good gears. Every gear he wears, he's, he's the opposite of Logan Paul. Logan Paul, incapable of good gears. He only has like one. His WrestleMania 40 gear was sweet. His recent red, white, and blue, like evil Knievel looking gear was pretty sweet, but Cody Rhodes, just excellent gears here. But then for your suited Cody Rhodes figure comparisons, here is the Elite 111 up next to my fixed up Polly Dangerously, Cody Rhodes in suit, and then the Elite 109 Cody Rhodes in suit, and this is so much better for a Cody in suit, man. Just looks much more, like, dude, look at him. He's broad and everything. This looks like an athletic fit suit. This just looks like, uh, this looks like a commentator, man. Like a stand, if you put any, like, standard civilian head sculpt on this body, it would look like a random guy in a suit. This looks like a champion. This looks like a guy who lifts weights in a suit much like Cody Rhodes. And then for our last Cody Rhodes figure comparison, we have our two Ultimate Editions. You have the Mattel Creations exclusive Cody Rhodes Ultimate, and then we have the most recent Ultimate Edition Series 21 Cody Rhodes in the WrestleMania 39 gear. And again, I'm just glad to have all these figures. It's so nice to see Cody Rhodes back and getting all these figures of him. Being a big Cody guy, I always enjoy him. But one thing I wanted to try is I kind of wanted to put this coat on here just to see if it would fit well. I really want to do a torso swap with this Ultimate just to kind of, uh, you know, get him on the same formula as the rest of the Cody's or have 
hell, just turn him into an elite, by God. But let's put this on here. I mean, shish, in, in, like outside of the damn sleeves being too long, which I've seen some people fix it up and fix that. I can't remember who it was, but somebody has fixed that up. I've seen it. Somebody tapered the sleeves and made them look better. Outside of that, I mean, this could easily work. Look at that right there. That's not bad right there. You could have that entrance jacket for Cody Rhodes. That thing is baggy as hell, man, but there's a little comparison there. But then one more thing I wanted to do is I wanted to put my custom Dan Turnquist undisputed title on there just to kind of see what he looks like and see how that suffices and then I will put on the regular Mattel one too just to see but this one has Cody Rhodes side plates on it and it looks pretty damn good I think so there is your custom belt with the Cody Rhodes side plates and then I will get the Mattel one from the Elite 110 Roman and if you take this off and then put this on here just to kind of see if you guys wanted to check that out put that on your figures yeah it looks pretty good too it's not bad I know it has Roman Reigns side plates but it's not half bad right there and you could always replace Place these side plates with standard WWE champion side plates, I think, that would suffice and be a placeholder until we get a Cody Rhodes, which will be a, a while, but it still works. And then for one more figure comparison, we do have the Elite 111 Cody up next to the Elite 110 Roman Reigns, which was repainted. And these, eh, they work pretty good together. I mean, maybe the Roman's a little tall and the Cody maybe a little short, but eh, all in all, pretty good size comparison between these two figures here in Elite 110 and 11. And for one last comparison, I did want to take a look at the Conqueror, as they call it. And the saga here between Cody Rhodes and his SummerSlam opponent, Brock Lesnar, the Ultimate Edition. These look pretty good next to each other, too. So, you know, if you wanted to make that battle happen, there's your Ultimate Edition 15 Brock Lesnar. Still the best Ultimate Edition Mattel's made to date. Still, it's it's just the best. I love that figure. Now, getting into Trish Stratus' accessories, you do get some quality right here. Not a ton of quantity, but a definite amount of quality. This fur coat is sensational, and it reminds me a lot of the one... What figure? Was it her last figure? Her last figure kind of came with this trench coat or that Elite 87 figure that looked god-awful. I think it was Elite 87, that terrible Trish head sculpt that looked nothing like her. Pretty sure it came with this exact thing, except it didn't have the fur neckband or collar right here. So it's essentially the same jacket that came with her previous figure or in the Elite mainline, but it does have a fur collar there, which is very nice. This is very high quality. Love to see stuff like this. I'll never complain about cloth goods. This is always very nice to see. Speaking of which, couldn't they have thrown at least a cloth goods shirt in there with Cody Rhodes? That would have been nice. And then outside of that, she does come with her cowboy hat here which has the silver lining around the top of it and it looks okay it's not bad whatsoever but we are going to put it on the head sculpt right here and it fits pretty damn good I think it goes I don't know which way it goes but it doesn't matter it fits the figure well it does it, it hugs it well it looks nice good job I think it looks better than that head sculpt by god and then for interchangeable hands she does have mic holding style hands right here no fingernail polish or anything again never know if that's accurate or not I don't know if it's accurate I would imagine it's not accurate but who the hell knows you never know and then she also comes with pointer fingers and you know what what that means. She, she could tell people to shut the hell up by putting the finger up to her lips, or she can point at you and point at you and tell you to shut the hell up, but she does come with the pointer hands. And I think these first came with Elite 94 Stephanie McMahon, and the finger looked very long on that figure. It doesn't look as out of proportion, even though I'm, I guarantee it's the exact same sculpt and mold. It's just something that I noticed for some reason. Now getting into your Trish figure, starting out with the head sculpt, I thought this figure looked pretty good at WrestleMania, but now that I'm seeing it here, man, I don't really like it that much. I don't know what's going on. I feel like if you move her back here, it kind of looks like Trish, but then when you get up in here, I don't see it that much. It looks a bit off. I do like the hair, though, and I don't know. At certain angles, it looks like Trish, and then it doesn't at all at some angles, but the hair is a very nice sculpt, and the ombre is very nice. On the back, it does say, thank you, Trish, and she's got these sculpts on here, which looks good. The top and everything looks good. Got this little stud piece here and everything. Nice uh, studs right here on the waist, but then she has these fishnet passages right here, and then she's got the silver with the outline. Very, very similar to her last figure, man. I mean, she has these black wristbands on there, and then she has these basic kick pad feet that they always give the women's figures. It's crazy, man. It's just crazy. It's, she's like Becky Lynch. Just can't get her face right or something. <sighs> but, you know, the figure can pose around pretty good. I mean, it still has that issue in the shoulder where the women, you know, like the shoulder won't go all the way down sometimes. Not having that here, but head, you're not going to get a ton of articulation there. Diaphragm, you're not going to get a good ab crunch. She can go back a little bit there. She has good splits and can kick forward pretty good there. Double jointed knee, boot rotation, and then down and up. No ankle pivot or anything because they're basic boots. I really wish Mattel would get rid of that, but she has double jointed arms and everything. It's just, oh man, this figure just leaves something to be desired, I think. I just am not a big fan of this Trish. I mean, look at it up next to her recent WrestleMania 40 Elite, which was from back in the day, which is a re-release of her Hall of Fame figure, and it's essentially the exact same figure. Like, the only thing different is some paint apps, 
and then the lower stomach here. I mean, I know this is a new torso, whatever, but, and I'd argue this head sculpt has more likeness. I just don't really care for the likeness over here. I just don't see it. It doesn't look like Trish to me, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's like, look at all this, man. It's the same stuff. It's, it's, it's just not my favorite here. And really, the neck down I can live with if we didn't just get this figure. Like, I like the torso sculpts. They're nice and everything. But the head sculpt is really what kind of takes me out of it. If the head sculpt was better, I think this figure would suffice. Or just the face sculpt, because the hair is nice. It's just that face sculpt or something, man. But let's take a look at some other comparisons. And then for your other Trish Stratus figure comparisons, we have the Elite 110 Rhea Ripley. We have the Royal Rumble Elite Becky. I can't remember. Damn. I don't, no, Elite 100. It's the Elite 100 with a head swap. And then we have the Royal Rumble Lita, I think. And the Lita towers over all these figures. Jesus Christ. I don't even know if that's accurate, but Lord, that figure's tall as hell. And then the Trish is just way down there. Tiny figure. She's 5'5". Five, five? I don't know. Is she supposed to be getting towered over like that? I'm not entirely sure, but there's just your Trish Stratus figure comparisons with the rest of just some different women's talent. I mean, right here, I mean, this is kind of your... You get two legends currently running and two legends already gone, but all four legends in their own right. But I think that about wraps up our 2-in-1 WWE Elite Series 111 Trish Stratus and Cody Rhodes figure review. Starting out with Cody Rhodes, it is a really good Cody Rhodes figure. I'm not very big on the new, like, pursing style lips head sculpt that we have here. It just is a bit weird. It's not as bad as I once thought when we saw it on display at WrestleMania 40, but it just has, like, a weird... I, I don't really know, man. It has a weird look to it. I just... I don't understand why they don't just reuse the Defining Moments head sculpt. It's the best head sculpt they've used for Cody Rhodes so far. Even the smiling one was better than this. I like that they interchanged or they gave you the screaming one. I think that the screaming one has run its course, though. I think it is time to have a brand new head sculpt. Hopefully at San Diego Comic-Con, maybe we'll see some new Cody Rhodes head sculpts. But the Defining Moments one would have been perfect on this figure. Now, in terms of everything else, it is pinless leg. So the... You know, the smoothness, the buttery smoothness that you get on the other elites, you're probably not going to have it here. You may need to work that out some, but the gear is certainly fire. I'm glad that we have a non-torn pet Cody in a white gear or white base gear. I love all of Cody Rhodes' attires. They're always very nice, very George Washington-esque, if you will, and they look very damn good. And this one's no different in that regard. It is a very good Cody Rhodes figure. Now, if you have those other Cody Rhodes, is it necessary? I don't think so. Unless you just like the gear. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's skippable in that way. But I do love this gear a lot. I do like some things going on there. But in terms of the buttery smoothness that you usually get, I think you're going to have to pose that thing around a little bit until you get that smoothness because right out of the packaging, he is pretty stiff. Not going to lie to you there. But it is another Cody Rhodes. It looks very good. And if you guys want it, you can always head swap it with all the damn Cody Rhodes we're getting. But besides the Defining Moments head sculpts and the Smiling one, I don't know. His head sculpts have been kind of a miss. I don't know. But you can let me know what you think there. As far as Trish Stratus, oh man, pretty tough. Pretty tough. Let's start off with the pros. I love the jacket. The jacket is immaculate. It is a very good jacket. I really do like it. And the gear's not bad. The thank you, Trish, on the back. Not my first selection for gear, but it's not bad. It's a moment in time. I understand it, all those things. It's okay, but it's another all-black attire. Same thing we've seen with Trish on her many figures we've seen so far in her Mattel run. The head sculpt is weird because... I feel like from far away it looks like her, but the closer you get to that head sculpt, the worse it looks. The more, the more and more it doesn't look like Trish Stratus. I don't know, man. I really like the hair, the ombre hair and everything, and I wanted to really like this figure, and it looked better on display to me because I'm not really feeling it here. I think that the head sculpt's another miss. She has become the new Becky Lynch, I'm afraid, which means that they just can't seem to get her right for some reason. I don't know what the hell it is. And then you want to get into the basic boots. They're continuing to give these women figures the basic kick pads that have been around for so very very long so many years now, they gotta retire that mold. It's certainly something that needs to change. So it's just a miss for me. I just am not a big fan. But the jacket is really good. If you want to grab this just for the jacket, do it. Because the jacket's nice and you can put it on so many different characters. But outside of that, man, I would skip this, Trish. I just, uh, I don't know, man. I You could head swap it. If you bought this figure, if you bought this Elite and then head swapped it with that Trish and Lita battle pack, now that would be damn nice. That, uh, that I could see working really well. But anything else, man, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of it. But if you guys want to grab these figures, use code MDTOYS over at ringside collectibles wrestlingfigures.com pick these figures up if you'd like to but that is going to wrap up the video for me huge shout out to our patreon members of the mdt youtube channel appreciate all those guys over there thank you guys so very much for your continued support as always always love and appreciate all those fellows over there for their continued support but i'm getting the hell out of here man thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video have a blessed one i'll catch you guys later